Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And following up on a project that I had started a few months back, uh, finally been able to get to it because the parts have come in. Now, you will not have a problem of this nature when you pick up this pedal power supply. I'm actually doing some beta testing for K-Line Technologies to make sure that you do not have this problem. In this case, I had found a severe voltage drop under full load with each of these outputs. And if basically if I tried to load it up to 100 milliamps on those uh, 100 milliamp lines or 300 or even 500, the voltage would sag too much to where it would not allow the pedal to run properly. And it came down to a simple resistor value change. And specifically, I'm talking about these current limiting resistors, uh, F1 through F12 in this case. They have to be 1 ohm 5% tolerance. I prefer 1%, but it was not available. And they are size 1812, thick resistors with about, I think it's a three quarter watt for the uh, for the power dissipation. That's what the size in there is for. And all that this is really, these resistors are for is to make sure that in the case of a short circuit, that all the power goes to that resistor so you don't blow up the output section here that's feeding these various outputs here. And it's just more there for protection, so you do need them. But with a higher uh, ohm value, it was causing the voltage to drop too severely. So I put one ohm resistors in there, and this is the part number that I used. And uh, as you can see, I put the CP206 for my um, uh, purchase order there. Again, you do not have to do this. This will already be made over at the factory. But that just gives you an idea of what I was what I was uh, going to be putting in there. And what we're going to do now is I have the 100 milliamps, 300 milliamps, and then the 500 milliamp line just under that uh, maximum load. And what we want to see, I don't want to see any voltage on the 9 volt line drop below 8.5. Uh, ideally, you wouldn't want it to drop below 8.7, but uh, 8.5 is what I'm going to say is okay for most pedals that are on the market these days. This is definitely not a high power application. Uh, if you want something more than, say, 500 milliamps, you're going to need to get a different power supply, but this should power more than 90% of all the pedals that are out on the market today. Got the tripod set up here. And here's what we're going to do. We're just going to plug in 100 ohms to the 100 milliamp line, 25, 26 ohms to the 300 milliamp line, and then 20 ohms on the 500 milliamp line. So that's about 450 milliamps of load, about 250 to 60, I think, and then exactly 100 milliohms here. Uh, 90 milliohms, I, I believe, for the load. Now we want to look for is 9.01 volts, uh, no load. And now what are we looking at here under load? So we have 8.9 volts. That's good. 8.7 volts under load. That's really good. And now this is the 500 milliamp line. Uh-oh, looks like we're not getting anything there. All right, we had a little technical difficulties. Let's just measure the voltage now. So we're at 8.5 volts at full load on the 500 milliamp lines. That's acceptable to me. I mean, I wish it could be better, but it seems that... And uh, uh, there's actually a good reason for that. It's not so much of the resistor values for each of these outputs. The It really comes down to efficiency. You have one and a half amps at 18 volts coming in to this power brick. And then on the nine volt lines, there's about, if we go by these nameplate rated currents, we're looking at about 2,200 milliamps of current available at nine volts. Now, if you were to take 18 volts at one and a half amps and cut that voltage in half, so at nine volts, you got 3,000 milliamps. So we're very close. You have the rest of the 12 and 18 volt lines taking up whatever's left of that 2200 milliamps here. So 2200 milliamps here, and then the rest of the 800 milliamps left over at uh, 18 volts to power these two points here. So it's three and three, there's 600. You know, at different voltages, you're gonna have different currents, but uh, come when you derive it from the 18 volts is what I'm referring to. So you're getting very close to that one and a half amp output uh, 
from the wall here and then the output from the brick there's going to be some losses with the transformers with the switch with the switching frequency of the transformers and then all the diodes everything you're going to get power loss inevitably so if you're not if you get one and a half amps in you may get 1.4 1.3 amps out on these outputs that's not terrible that's actually pretty good uh you know for high high current applications i would not recommend this power supply but in the 100 to you know say 450 milliamps this is perfect and that's going to take care of more than 90 percent of all the pedals here on the market today uh and any of those high current pedals are going to have their own specific power supply anyway so now that i feel that now that this is corrected i'm getting a much more acceptable voltage drop i'm going to give my recommendation to k-line this is definitely now a viable pedal power supply and i hope you guys enjoyed the looking at the video here and just watching me go through my uh, test process here again this was the part number that i use but this should already be in here by the time this reaches the market as always if there's any questions please let me know uh thank you so much to the k-line technologies team flora and the engineers thank you so much really appreciate you uh, supporting me and and letting me go and work on this before it hits the market again if there's any questions th uh, let me know thanks again and till the next time